For y'all tour of my seat. So I put my backpack under here. It fits nice and snug. There's a little area for my feetsy. My legs are so short, it barely <laughs> even reaches. Here's the screen, it is gigantic. My hand for size, yes, my hand is really tiny. Um, there's so much space, oh my gosh. Like, look at, look at this, I, I'm going swimming. So over here, a little table area. And there's water here for you. And there's headphones. Oh, these are nice, I think. But, ow! Sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so you get noise cancellation headphones. You don't get to keep these, right? <laughs> oh, these are so nice. My gosh, look at that cushion. Over here, all the things you need to charge. And, um, what is this? Like a little booklet thing. This is the pillow that you get, super fluffy. This is the blanket that you get. Oh, it's like nice and fuzzy and furry. And here's the seat. That's what it looks like. And give you guys a full view. Under the monitor, there's a table. You just like push it in and... Okay. <laughs> I'm about to break this. This is what the table looks like. Ooh, lots of surface area. It's gigantic. Nice. Yeah. Here's the remote. Boop. Down. All right. So with business class, you do get number one lounge access. It's Premier Lounge. Um, it's okay. It's not the best lounge, but at least it's somewhere to sit. And there's some refreshments there. And then you also get priority boarding. So there's a separate line for you to board and it's super fast. Like there was maybe like three people in front of me. I boarded in literally under five minutes. So super fast. All right, so I'm gonna log off now. I'll see you guys when the food comes. You already know what time it is. It is voiceover time. So they actually give you these little covers to put over the headphone cushions. And here's me modeling it because yes, yeah, fancy headphones. I don't even own a pair like this at home. So I got cozy and it was time to put on a movie and there were so many selections, pages after pages. As soon as we got into the air, dinner service started and they came around with a selection of bread. Ooh, I felt like I was at an Italian restaurant in the air and I got this fancy salad with smoked salmon. I picked garlic bread, of course, and I got this amazing looking chocolate cake. They gave me a little hand wipe, so I did a little wipey wipey, and then I'm digging right into this garlic bread. Nom, 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 nom. It's very good. Can't go wrong with garlic bread. Yes, look at my face. Then I went in on the salad, and look how giant the smoked salmon is. Not too long into the meal though, turbulence started, and it was pretty bad. I mean, look at my water shaking, but it will not stop me from eating this chocolate orange pound cake with vanilla sauce. Okay, yes. But y'all, it really was shaking so much. Even I am admiring myself for continuing to eat. <laughs> Anyways, the cake was not the best. It was kind of tarty and sour from the orange. It definitely looked better than it tasted, but no matter because this was the main dish. This is seafood koi tao, which is a stir-fried seafood noodle dish with flat rice noodles. And oh, look at it. It had scallop, shrimp, fish and it just looks so good. I am drooling. So I took a bite of the noodles and yes, it was as good as it looked. The noodle was chewy and had this nice soy sauce savoriness to it. Loved it. The shrimp, huge. And the fish was also very good and just flaked off. I really love the sticky sauce coating the noodles. Absolutely delicious. And the scallop was also so soft. I was very impressed with this dish. Very, very good. And here's a scan of the menu to see what else was available. Feel free to pause the video to read. 
They had different coffee, tea, and even cocktails, spirits, mocktails, everything. So this flight was pretty short and I had maybe an hour or so layover and I had to run to the business lounge because when can I ever access it again? And so this is what I managed to capture. They had a bunch of food options. They first had this snack area that was kind of empty. I found fruit cups and pre-made sandwiches. I've never seen this before. These sandwiches are usually $12 to $15 at the airport, so I was already impressed. But then there's so much more when you keep walking down the lounge. There's a noodle soup station, and these are the choices. They also had a bunch of hot foods and dim sum. They even had a pasta station. And here's my random selections. I was so tired, I didn't even really know what I was doing. <laughs> then I saw they had a shower and I was thinking it'd be a good idea before an 18 hour flight, but I didn't account for how far my gate was. It was literally at the other end of this giant airport. So I almost missed my business class flight. <laughs> so please excuse the heavy breathing because I was running, I was sprinting. Oh my gosh, almost missed my flight, but we're here. All right, we made it. So this is the screen. This, it comes with little socks that you can use on the flight and slippers. These are giant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we get a little amenities pack. Oh wait, just kidding, we don't. I lied, ignore me. This is the noise canceling headphones. There's water in here. All the charger, a light. Um, there's the remote. I think this is the table. <laughs> table that pulls out. There's like a little area here. Storage here. It's so much more space than the other one. Here are little buttons to control your seat, the light, call the attendant. Yo, look at this pillow. It's gigantic. Oh my gosh, it's as big as a screen. Mm -hmm. They gave me a different size, a smaller one. You know. Yeah, a little better. <laughs> so I just ran a marathon. Um, there's no point in showering because I'm sweaty already. But anyways, we're gonna take off. I'll see you guys when the meal comes. Now that we are in the air, the flight attendant let me know there's pillows and blankets behind the chair to make a bed. So this is me trying to figure it out, but meal service started right away. They are always so on time. They laid out a fancy tablecloth for me. Ooh. And we started off the meal with a prawn Caesar salad with giant shrimps on top. I mean, they look so juicy. I don't know where they get these shrimps, but wow, so fresh. And then more bread came and I got more garlic bread. Look how happy I am. <laughs> so my trip in Bali was amazing, but I actually got food poisoning. So I was very sick, especially in the last few days, which sucked because, you know, I want to enjoy business class, but I'm actually dying. Um, so this is why I look so exhausted here. But you know, I didn't save up points for business class for nothing. So I'm just going to keep eating. <laughs> So the main course came, it was called Beach Road Prawn Noodle Soup. And my goodness, this plating, it's giving shrimp explosion. It's giving shrimp noodle art, okay? So the yellow noodles were very nice and chewy and the broth was super flavorful. It was this prawn and pork broth, which was very nice for my upset tummy. And there's actually two types of noodles in there. There's yellow noodles and a rice vermicelli. And of course, delicious shrimps. Also, it came with a lot of chili, which I couldn't use. I guess you can't go wrong with shrimp in the air because it's always been very delicious. And then the turbulence started getting crazy again. And this is me trying to eat my noodles while the entire plane was shaking. <laughs> Persistence, grit, must eat. <laughs> And the turbulence got so bad that I had to hold up my noodle soup so it wouldn't spill. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. It finally calmed down at the end and I was able to enjoy my noodle soup. 
very cozy and flavorful. But y'all, the dessert came and it was this vanilla pear chocolate cake and it was delicious. The cake was so moist and the chocolate melted beautifully with the sweetness of the pear. Oh, I want it again. Airplane dessert is always a hit or miss, but this was a hit. So now that meal service is done, you can actually turn your seat into a bed and the flight attendant will help you set it up. And look at this. They lay the seat down and then there's a soft padding on top and then they add a sheet. I laid in there and I was like, this is magical. I am so grateful. I think I wanted to scream at how cool this was, but you know, we gotta stay classy in business class. Look at these giant fluffy pillows. They're so soft. And I had to give you guys an overhead shot, you know, for the vibe so you can really feel the luxury of this bed. <laughs> So it's time to get ready for bed. I brush my teeth, let down my mane, and I'm gone. I'm asleep. Good night. I was exhausted, very sicky. And then I think I slept for quite a long time because good morning, there was only seven hours left in this flight and the flight was 18 hours. Mm. I got up to do a little work in bed and it was time to eat again. So this was the most impressive part of the entire business class experience, oh, besides the bed, is that they rolled out a saute cart. I've never experienced this before, but yes, those are chicken satay with onion, cucumber, and a spicy peanut sauce just dumped all over them. Amazing. I took a bite and they were so good. They were juicy, chewy, savory, and this peanut sauce, ah, uh, drench it all over me, baby. I absolutely killed this dish. It was delicious. I need more of this peanut sauce. Singapore Airlines, you did satay right. Whoa. And then came the salad and the garlic bread. You already know. <laughs> and this main course is actually something that I ordered from Book the Cook. It's basically the separate menu that you can order um, in advance and there's way more options. This is supposed to be a famous chicken rice in Singapore. Um, my first impression was this is a lot of rice. It kind of felt like they just dumped a mountain of rice with some chicken. Um, although the chicken did look very, very juicy. And it came with all this topping and sauces. I mean, my table was looking colorful. So I started with the rice, which according to the description is infused with chicken stock, lemongrass, ginger, and pandan. And I don't know, I didn't think it was flavorful. And the rice was actually kind of hard. So I went in for the poached chicken and it was just okay. Yeah, it tasted like what it looked like poached chicken but usually it's supposed to be much more flavorful so i dipped in some of the sauce hoping for more flavor and it was just okay some pieces of chicken were good and some were quite tough and hard to chew uh, and overall this dish was actually a big disappointment and i wonder if it's just this batch or or something but it was lacking flavor and the amount of rice compared to chicken uh, it was not the best I'm very sad. I really was hoping for something amazing because they really pushed this dish. I actually wish I picked the in-flight meals instead of book the cook for this one. And I had a little fruit and cheese and cracker as a post-meal snack. So maybe two to three hours later, I was a little hungry. And they only have two meal service, even if it's an 18-hour flight. So I ordered ramen. I was so curious. It came in a bowl, and I honestly felt so fancy eating ramen in a bowl in the air. <laughs> and there we go. That was an 18-hour flight. Thank you guys so much for joining this amazing Singapore Airlines business class flight with me. Back to saving all of my points so I can do this again one day. I honestly had such a good time. It was so comfortable and the meals as you saw were so fancy. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more flight reviews. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!